Oh, hey guys. Welcome back. We got some nostalgia for you today because we're going to do top five TRL songs on some random comedian's top five that means absolutely nothing. Y'all, uh, y'all remember TRL, right? Back, back, back in the day. TRL was a mainstay on MTV right after school. When you got home, you turned it on, you saw the countdown. Carson Daly and the gang let you know what songs were cool to listen to and whatnot. Um, but it was a weird time to be alive. You know, uh, you had your, your Blink 182s and your Corns and your Limp Biscuits you know, making it, making it cool. Uh, and then you also had the boy bands and the Britney Spears and the Christina Aguilera's that you listened to as well. You just didn't let anyone know at school you listened to. One time my mom saved me. She got me an NSYNC CD for my birthday, which I wanted, but my friends started to pick on me. So my mom was like, Oh, that's, that's for me. How'd that get in there? So shout out to you, mom. You're the real MVP. I love you. TRL aired from 98 to 08, uh, but I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, after my man Carson Daly was seen less and less starting in 02, so was my viewership. So a lot of these songs are going to be the early years of TRL. Until I did the research today, didn't know it lasted till 08. Uh, but this was so fun, such a great show. It's when I got to learn about great songs like Will Smith's remake of Just the Two of Us or Marilyn Manson's The Dope Show or Limp Biscuit's Nookie uh, and Break Stuff, some great songs. Open your eyes to a lot of music you wouldn't normally listen to. It lets you really put your finger on the pulse of, of pop culture, if you will, back in the day before the, the internets ran wild. Honorable mentions, we got Usher, My Way, which still to this day is my favorite Usher song. And the queen, Britney Spears, did it again, and we appreciate her for it. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the countdown. Number five, we got Blink-182, All the Small Things. It spoofed all the boy band videos and all the crazy tricks that they would do. Had some cool camera angles, had them getting off their own jet, uh, had them just going through a bunch of different of our favorite videos at that time. But the great thing about it is this video doesn't exist without TRL pushing the other people to do the videos in the first place. You can't spoof it if it's not there. So this was like an inception of a video. It was a video about a video inside a video of a video. Moving on, number four, we have Aaliyah, Are You That Somebody? So with Timberland, we got a nice Timberland uh, rap to this. This is Aaliyah just showing off her talent everywhere. Who would have thought falconry would be sexy? It was in this one. It was, it, uh, was number three on the very first TRL countdown when it debuted in 98. And uh, it was on the Dr. Doolittle soundtrack, of all things. But Aaliyah, gone way too soon, but I'm so glad she got to leave. A little bit of uh, some videos for her legacy that we can still watch when we want to. Which, uh, if you had not seen this video in a, in a while, please, go watch it. Stop, stop this video. Go watch it. I mean, come back to this video, but, like, go watch that. But come back. Number three, it is NSYNC, Bye Bye Bye. A little... Puppeteers. We did have Backstreet Boys, Backstreet's back in this spot, but upon further research, found out that that was a little bit before TRL days. It was the first video retired under Backstreet Boys, but it didn't have as big of a run as NSYNC's Bye 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 did. Thus, NSYNC won this spot. It's only fair. I did the research. I don't like doing research, but I do it for you guys. There is some footage out there somewhere of me doing this dance uh, with some fellow uh, church youths in the youth group. We did a sketch, and this was part of it. So I uh, still got that choreography in my head from time to time. I'll see myself out. Number two, we got Eminem, The Real Slim Shady. Please stand up. This absolutely ruled the summer of 2000. Uh, again, spoofing other videos. It made fun of Tom Green in the funniest way. My bum is on your lips. My bum is on your lips. Just the quintessential 2000s banger. Just the video is a time capsule in itself. I remember watching them making the video. That was my favorite, is when you watch the video being made, it debuted, 
and then you were tuned in the next day to see where it would land on TRL. And this song did end up number two on TRL's final iconic countdown. Uh, when they went off the air, they released top 10 of what they thought their best videos were. And this was number two. So I'm flattered. Parallel thinking. Look at us. That leaves us with the number one spot. We got to give it to Corn Got the Life. Look, man. Love this song. Love that they made this video in response to their label not letting them release Adidas as their first single on this uh, album. So it had a little giving it to the man uh as well they blew up a lambo so that was cool and uh not gonna lie it was my you know introduction to corn and uh limp biscuit and all those guys was mtv so i wouldn't know about them without this countdown and i still listen to that song to this day still get just as hyped this was the very first video trl had to retire it was requested so much that trl had to institute the retired video policy to give other videos a chance so that's my top five trl songs hope this brought back some memories for you go back and watch some of these videos they're so good um and i just miss the times when videos were valued you know now we just hear about a song or a diss track or whatever and you can go the whole time without knowing what the music video is. some people don't even shoot music videos or anything anymore breaks my heart hit that subscribe button we got so many more top fives coming your way check out all the great stand-up clips and other content on this page we appreciate you being here we'll see you next time